<laughs> when you hear him giggle, you wouldn't know that Ryder Geisler is clinging to life. The doctors gave him less than 1% to make it, so he is just a true miracle. Born with zero kidney function, Ryder needs dialysis to survive. He goes on at 8 p.m. every night, and that's a 12-hour thing, so he stays on it until 8 a.m. At almost two years old, Ryder can't walk, talk, or eat without a feeding tube because of his kidney failure. It's an emotional roller coaster. Desperate to get a new kidney for her son, this Minnesota mom put out a plea online. Hundreds responded and got tested. When they called me to say, you're approved to donate, I was like kind of shell-shocked, like, what, for real? But Heather Kimbrough in Eagle Grove, Iowa, turned out to be the near perfect match. Just knowing that I'm helping somebody else out is a great, tremendous feeling to have. Kimbrough saw the post about a family she didn't even know 150 miles away. She filled out an application and underwent rigorous testing at the University of Minnesota Fairview Hospital. Doctors decided she has the best kidney for Ryder. What was that like when you told his mom, hey, I'm the match and I'm going to do this? It made me cry because she was so ecstatic about it. There's no words that I can describe to give my child a second chance at life. I don't, I'm speechless. I really am. Living donors are so much better. Dr. Vanessa Humphreyville is the surgeon who will remove Kimbrough's kidney on March 19th. She says a new kidney gives children like Ryder the ability to live a completely normal life. I did a kidney transplant on a two year old and um, he couldn't walk and he couldn't talk and um, about four months after this, I'm walking through the hospital and this little kid comes running up to me. Sorry, I still get a little choked up about it, but he comes running up to me and it was just night and day. The next time we see Ryder, he will seem like a completely different toddler, all thanks to one stranger who gave the ultimate he act of kindness. <laughs> Laura Terrell, KCCI 8 News, Iowa 